Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to tonight's matchup here at the Comet Creators, where the cast and comments are playing host to the Knox Redskins. I'm Blair Zimmerman, joined on the headset tonight with Alex Korn. How you yep, doing, Alex? Not too bad. It was a nice day today. Oh, yeah. It was a beautiful day after a very windy week. Yep. And, uh, well, well it, finally seasonable. It's uh, cold in comparison to what mm -hmm. we've had, but it's. Yep. I think fall has finally fell. Yep. Uh, so, anyway, we've got this massive Knox team here tonight. And um, counted what almost 60 kids on the roster? Uh, nearly, I think my count was 58. So, you know, they've got special teams and four strings or something like that. Mm -hmm. That's we yeah. were talking uh, off air though that you know, ideally, I think every high school would like to have numbers like that. Yep. It's, yep. And of course, they are the biggest school in our conference. Yep. So, so uh, yeah, they're definitely the them and Pioneer are the big dogs in the in the kennel, so to speak. Um, and of course, Knox's only loss on the season so far is to Pioneer in a 12 to seven matchup that was really good. Um, Knox is looking to uh, make good moves in their sectional. Um, they are favored pretty heavily. I think there's another good team in their sectional that's eight and zero or seven and one as well. Right. Uh, it'll be a tough sectional, but I think Knox is on the other side of the bracket than them. Um, of course, Casson will be at. Is it Adams Central next week or South Adams? It's one of those two. I think it's Adams Central. It's something Central. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was thinking Clinton Central, but you know, <laughs> unfortunately, we won't be with the yeah. way that yeah, with the way that uh, sectional requirements and, and tournament requirements are, we right. we won't be covering that sectional game. Um, so uh, this is, of course, the last home game and would have been Senior Night, but mm -hmm. we spoke about this couple weeks ago yep. that was the last time we were together right absolutely Culver yep, yep. Uh, against here at home against Culver last weekend the uh, Comets went to Winnemac and our Winnemac crew covered that for us so mm -hmm. and this is a uh, 730 start yeah yeah this is uh I'm, I'm not used to this it's, it's, it's <laughs> I'm old it's past my bedtime <laughs> And it's uh, looking out here. It's a very sparse home crowd as uh, we are finishing up Caston's fall break here. So uh, hopefully all you Caston fans are tuning in and watching us. Uh, welcome. Uh, if not and you're watching this later, shame on you. <laughs> Wait, no. Just watch it when you can watch it. Yeah. That, that's what it yep. is. So uh, looking on the sideline, I am, and I, I'm thinking back, uh, Caden Webb is not in uniform tonight. Uh, he caught a concussion, I think, mm -hmm. during that um, during that Culver game we were just talking about. Mm -hmm. So, um, of course, we've got Aiden Sarver here on the sideline with that healing ACL. Uh, we're hoping to have him back. Well, I know uh, Coach Evans is hoping that he'll he'll be healed up and rehabbed <laughs> for wrestling, but we're definitely hoping to have him back for track season. Yep. See, I think, and of course we have a lot of kids to count on. Now. And Caston receiving Smith. Sam Smith out of bounds there around the 40-yard line. He's returned to kick for a touchdown this season, hasn't he? I think it was against Culver. I think it was that Culver game, uh, 85 yards, I think. Yep. It was a pretty impressive feat of athleticism. Mm -hmm. So we'll see what Kasson does here. Knox running the 4-3 defense. It's pretty common in high school football. This uh, Knox defensive line is just big. Schaefer with a lot of time in the pocket and nearly completed down here to Rock Wolf. Unfortunately, just slipped out of his hands. Yeah, Rock Wolf was open and landed, uh, put a nice touch on that pass. Number 
Number 50. 51. You see down here they're playing uh, tight coverage here on Shane Lob. Oh man, and that'll that'll set them back there a little. They'll take the five yards. They just I think that was a full six. They just lost. Yeah. No, they're they're being generous. <laughs> you can see here number thirty-seven. You can pronounce that last name for me. Thirty-seven. Martin. Naprakowski. They're playing a, a tight man-to-man -man coverage here. That's yeah, and that'll be going the other way. Interception there. 29, Jacoby Dixon, see, I know, senior here for Knox. And take it back to the comments. Is that the... There's a glare on the window. I'm <laughs> the 30. I thought it 32, 32 maybe. Yeah. Guess by this point I can look the other way and look at the scoreboard. Mm -hmm. There's the jet sweep play. Nice low tackle there. Um, it's 37. Was that Hickle with that tackle? I think it was. Which one? Gavin, sorry. Okay. <laughs> Got to be specific mm. when there's three Hickles on the line. There's another sweet play. Nice and moves there and mm. good tackle. Let's see who that was. Does it look like it was Landon? See, they pulled both of their guards on the sweet play. And now they're going under center in a wing T set. Running the trap play. And that'll be a touchdown. Hey, we're going to see... Uh, we're seeing an extra point kicked here. <laughs> it's been a few weeks. It has. Oh. Okay, we're going to see an extra point attempted here. Might be going to the two-point conversion now. <laughs> well, that could be. Well, uh, knocks up to an early 6 nothing lead here in just under two minutes gone. As we uh, set up for the kickoff, we're going to step away for this word from our sponsors. You're watching Cast and TV on RTC TV4. Hi, I'm John Oliver with some great news if you're shopping for a pre-owned F-150 or Ford Escape. Two of America's best-selling vehicles, and right now we have an incredible lineup to choose from. These are all local trades, so the history is no mystery. No Canadian units here. F-150s and Escapes, all priced to sell, all Oliver Ford Lincoln certified. So get more for your money and more for your trade with Oliver Ford Lincoln in Plymouth. <laughs> and welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Team's taking the field. The Redskins setting up to kick back off to the Comets after that uh, interception and a uh, couple play drive yep. for the Redskins to put six on the board. Now I wonder if they're uh, going to kick it to Smith or they're going to try to kick it the other way.
Make it into Jesse. And looking for an opening, couldn't find one in bottom of a dog pile there. At about what, 35? 32. So uh, you think we're going to see more passing plays or you think they're going to try... Yes. <laughs> Let's see if they hand it off to Smith on that power play that worked well earlier in the season. Well, that was a really high snap. Good call on that. He'll get a yard. A tough one. That's a lot of abuse for one yard. Yeah. See, we got, what, two or three seniors here on the defensive line for Knox. Pretty tough group of guys. Yeah. And like I said, just big guys. There's another high snap. And another deep ball. And, and be, nearly an under, another interception there by that number 37, uh, Naprakowski. Uh, at least that's what I'm going with if you're a Knox fan and I'm butchering names. I'm sorry. Most days I'm doing good to look in the mirror and get that guy's name right. <laughs> Fred, I think. I think it's Fred. <laughs> the third and nine. What are you thinking? Oh, I think that uh, Comets are going to have to figure out something that works here. I also think that was a neutral zone infraction that got by. And another... Another bunch of lost yeah. yards there deep in the backfield, back about the 24 yard line. I'm guessing Knox is lining up this way because they believe that they have two great returners. So they're gonna not rush the punter. They're gonna try to well, let's see how that works mm. for him. That's a good punt. And that punt rolled out to the 43, 44 yard line. Well, they're, they're putting it on the 45. The guys with the stripes are in charge. I think if I was calling a place for Knox, I'd try to throw it deep. Because why not? I'm going to hand it off to 33 up the middle. And Is that Shane Lobb? Wrapped up seven. there by Shane Lobb. Seven, it's four or five yards on that. That right guard's pulling, yep. They run the counter play. Quarterback was see Hickle. dedicated to that fake though. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Now they're going under center. And they run the old cross block play. And he, oh. Can't see with the glare on the window who took him down. 
Rock Wolf, maybe. Oh, and here comes Knox's uh, no huddle offense. Well, they got clear down there to the yeah. Comets. Big 15. Good time to practice it. Yeah, just gave him a hug and laid down. A lot of big guy. Mm -hmm. throw it. And That's to 88 and he's got that one. Cole McIntyre. Now who's their kicker? So not quite half of the first quarter done here and knocks up 14 nothing. So we're gonna take just a minute here, step away for a word from our sponsors on Caston TV on RTC TV4. Simplify your banking with a simply free checking account from First Federal Savings Bank. At First Federal Savings Bank, we appreciate your referrals. Refer your friends to open a simply free checking account. When your friend opens a checking account, you can both receive a free gift. It's easy as one, two, three. Simply free checking from First Federal Savings Bank, a simpler way to bank. And remember, we don't want to be the biggest bank, just the best bank. And Comet's taken to the field to receive. I think they're gonna try to put this in the uh, in the midfield again or send it back to our deep receivers? Well, I wouldn't kick it to number five, but. <laughs> He'll kick this one high in the air. Good catch and just stopped hard right yep. there at about the 30. So it looks like Knox is pretty consistent with their kickoffs. Is yeah. Started what, the 32 and now the 30 twice? They're just doing a really good job of, of sprinting downfield and making the play. Right. You get it high, it's a catch that somebody's going to just stand there and wait yeah. for. Yep. And then you've got time to get your guys downfield. Yep. And they're sending it just deep enough that you, you're not going to call fair catch yeah. on it. Right. Schaefer, once again, no time in the pocket. Oh, man. Sacked really deep. Sacked down at about the 15. Is that one of the seniors here on the defensive line for uh, Knox? I think it was that Dalton Kuhn, yeah, number 51, senior. Pioneer is uh, up 8 to nothing over Judson with five minutes left in the first. Another late start game there because they're only about a minute further ahead yeah. than us. LaVille's up 13 to zero over Culver, five minutes left in the half. Well, yeah, Judson's same time as Knox. Oh, so. Yeah, I knew that. I'll go back to sleep now. <laughs> Schaefer, once again, no time in the pocket. Quick pass there to, is that Rockwolf? Rock Made a couple moves. Back up to the 29, nearly up to that original line of scrimmage. We got a third and what, 14? Yeah. 
Knox just doing a really great job of reading this Comets offense and mm -hmm. shutting them down. Well, yeah. oftentimes just going right through that line. Not giving Schaefer any time to do much of anything with the ball. Yep. He's going to go immediately into motion, looking for a receiver. Got nothing oh, and fumbled fumbles it. it. Southwood 7, Tippy Valley 0, one minute left in the half, and that's the uh, TRC championship. Game. Oh. No. Casting will punt it. It didn't happen, and he just didn't get a good hold on the ball before he got hit. This one will be returned. Oh, good job. Is that Smith there? Didn't get fooled by that one. Yeah, Sam Smith, once again, that, that football IQ that we've talked mm -hmm. about. Yeah. He's just, he does such a great job of reading the field. Yep. Conoqua is up 20 to 13 with three minutes left in the half. I think that one's for second place. Or third, well, it'll be third and fourth place in the in TRC. The TRC. Well, their conference is so big, they have a north and a south division. Gotcha. They have two polars here. And they fake the counters. Number two is going to have a lot of grass to run on. He's going to go all the way. Just got moving, and none of the comments close enough to do anything with that. Triton's up 12 to 7 over Winnemac. Three minutes left in the half. It's a good thing Steve's running the, uh, was it the end zone cam? Is that what he called it? The red zone cam? Oh. Well, this is new toys we have then. Yeah. Oh, well. <laughs> I've been so busy with cross country, I, I haven't. I, I'm out of the loop. Of course, you've got what seven? I've got competitors uh, tomorrow. I do. I have uh, four girls and three guys who made it out of sectional. Uh, it was it was a fairly close thing for both teams to take whole teams to regionals, on, and it just didn't work out there. Mm. They go for two and, again. Yep, two, and it looked like an incomplete pass on that. Now, where's uh, cross country regionals held at? Well, we're back up at uh, Culver Military. So we, we run there twice, starting out our postseason, and then go up to uh, New Prairie. Okay. And that's a brutal course. So uh, we've got some, some good skill going into regionals tomorrow, and good. looking forward to taking a few up to uh, New Carlisle here mm -hmm. in a week. Everything goes well. Yeah. All it takes is <laughs> stepping in a hole wrong. Yeah, well. Yeah, that's something I gotta say. Uh, soccer and and football usually you can you don't have to worry about holes in the field. Although I, I've seen some that I'm not convinced they. <laughs> Knox here is getting ready to play. Four minutes left in the first quarter still. Ooh, really flat kick. Yep, Smith will have trouble with that one. Nice moves there. He's down the sideline. Oh, oh, oh. And he's oh. got the speed. He... That was a good move there by number 41, uh, Emily Richardson. Because Smith, was, if, if he could have had a few more mm -hmm. steps there, I think he would have been gone all the way. Yeah, if he didn't have to uh, jump over that guy, he would have been down the sideline. <laughs> well, my next question, though, is with that guy sliding like that and Sam going over him, even if he'd gone all the way, would he have kept it? Or would they have hit him with a penalty on that? Because we saw that here a few games yeah. back. Oh, ouch. 
Oh, that was a nice stick there. Was that number 20? Lovins. Come is now second and eight. Best field position they've had all night. Mm -hmm. Oh, that was Ooh. tipped. I'm almost surprised that we didn't have a couple of Redskins getting underneath that. Mm -hmm. Schaefer's just had a hard time of it getting yeah. any time in the pocket here tonight. Well, you're against, what, three seniors on the D-line, and then oh, yeah. the sophomore out there is a, a big dude. Well, I mean, I'm looking down here, and this Knox line nearly makes our guys look like junior hires. And a lot of these guys make me feel small. Mm -hmm. Oh, Smith. Smith got a lot uh, – Got bulldogged with yeah. a headlock there. Sorry, I was. I thought his head had come off for a second. <laughs> Be fourth and ten. It looks like Tony's giving a play to Landon. Good pass protection that time, and, and Shane Lob nice it. pass completed to Shane Lob. Schaefer had uh, three or four seconds there that time. He can do great things if you give him a couple of seconds. But yeah, I, it's, uh, he doesn't need an hour in the yeah. pocket. He, he just needs some time to do something the football. But again, there's a, there's a lot to be said when when we hit the line here. I mean, Sam Duvall is about the only guy who looks equivalent in size to yeah. Knox line. Yep. Here's the option play. And tied Shaper up. Kept it. Yeah, loss of two. I'll tell you what, about every inch down here to this 31 yard line has been a fight. Mm -hmm. Here's a counter play. Oh, and a great job by Oof. Knox. You see number nine, Tim Lee, came back in. They faked the option. They were going to hand it back and mm -hmm. run a counter play underneath. <sighs> Knox did a great job of staying disciplined and reading your keys. Yeah. So uh, third and 16 here. Under a minute left here in the quarter. If you give Landon three seconds, he'll make a good throw. Oh, and he's got a. I mean, he still completed yeah. the pass, but. Now we got fourth down. Last time they hit Shane Lob deep on about a 15 yard pass. I've got to say, even with the pressure he was under, yeah. Landon made a good play there. Well, okay. So Cass is going to take a timeout. The best play that they had available. The quarter. Well, that was just Landon doing some magic, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> well, we ended first quarter here. Uh, Redskins 20, Comets 0.
Uh, we're going to step away for a word from our sponsors. Stay tuned. You're watching Comets Football on Casting TV on RTC TV4. Simplify your banking with a Simply Free checking account from First Federal Savings Bank. All it takes is $50 to open the account with no minimum balance and no monthly service fees. For a limited time, you will also receive a free gift just for opening the account. And with Instant Issue, we can give you a debit card right when you open your account, giving you immediate access to your funds. Simply Free Checking from First Federal Savings Bank, a simpler way to bank. And remember, we don't want to be the biggest bank, just the best bank. And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Getting ready to go into the second quarter here. Uh, Comets at 4th and 13 once we take back to the field. And as you can see there on the board, the first quarter till that very end drive was all knocks. Yep. So we're talking off air. Now you'll be covering Rochester Volleyball. Yep, at section, Bremen. At Bremen tomorrow. Of course, if they keep winning, I'll just be there all day. <laughs> they, you know, that's not necessarily a bad day. They, uh, they play South Central. Union Mills. Okay. And then I think Bremen's playing LaVille right after that. That game's a uh, noon start, Rochester and South Central. So Zebras fans, they'll, they'll be able to sleep in and still watch the team move. And there's Once a screenplay. He... Jesse gets quite a bit, but I don't, not it's enough. Not enough. Well... The screen play against this defensive line is a good play call because that defensive line is they're they're big and they uh, are experienced. So you're yeah. gonna, you're going to see good good pass rush moves out of them. So the Redskins are going to take possession of the football on about their own 25 yard line. Oh, that was an excellent job. Is that Hickle? Smith was in on it, and I think it was, yep, Gavin Hickle. Tell you, he's uh, really impressed me this season. Of course, he played linebacker for the first time last season, mm -hmm. and he, well, you can tell he was playing it for the first time of his <laughs> life, but now he he's reading his keys well, and he's staying disciplined, and he, you see him, his nose is, if it's not on the football, it's around the football quite yeah. often. Well, we've seen many, many times that he was he was key in the tackle mm -hmm. by just knowing what was going yep. on around him. Yep. Another good tackle there by uh, I think it was Smith and Shane Lob on yep. that one. Uh, tackled for a loss there. Be be pretty amazing if the comments. Yeah. Force a punt. Yeah. Uh, there's a oh, and a way overthrown. Yeah. It'll be fourth and long, and it looks like the punt team is coming onto the field. Wow. You know, I'm almost surprised Knox didn't go for the conversion on this. <laughs> Just with the way that the first quarter yeah. worked for him. Yep. Um, yeah, don't say that too loud. Knox might hear you. <laughs> Take a timeout and put the varsity back out there. Ooh. I lost High it. short punt. Just barely making it over the 50 and then yep. kind of rolling backwards. I lost it in the lights, the reflection on the window here. Yeah, it's, well, there's a reason that uh, when it was nicer out, I was pulling all these window panes out. <laughs> the reflection in here gets ridiculous, mm -hmm. but uh, it's chilly enough out there. I want as many windows in as we can get tonight. I, I just really gotta say, I'm glad we don't, for these guys, I'm glad we don't have the weather we had, I think it was Wednesday. Yeah, we were out on a run. That was disgusting. Cold and rainy. <laughs> yeah, it was just, and windy, like twenty-five mile an hour winds. It was just the toss play. 
Smith looking for a hole. Doesn't quite find him. Just makes his way back up to the line of scrimmage. I'd like to see them, well, them as in the comments dedicate a little bit more to getting uh, Smith going as a runner. And a little bit more dedication to the run. But yeah. when you're looking at the scoreboard and you're down 20, you kind of think we need to throw the ball, get a touchdown, get. Right. Well, and the problem, and once again, we've talked about this. There's a lot of reliance on Smith. He's a, mm -hmm. he's just a phenomenal athlete. Yep. Um, I mean, we, we've got just a few players that the 11 guys on the other side of the football know that if they can shut down these few players, right. they've got it. Oh, and a great job by 24 at grabbing the shoelaces. <laughs> Shoelace tackle puts him down with a gain of one. And the Comets pulling a holding. They are going to give up some yardage. Why was I thinking that holding was only a five-yard offense or offense? I don't know. Obviously not. You're at what, second and 20? Yep. Oh, and a bad Ooh. snap and a great move by 51 and Landon breaks free. Oh, he's going to run. Found a hole. Out running. Oof. Oh. He, uh, after picking that up down around the 20, 25, he, he brings it back up to the 31. Sometimes it's a little bit scary watching the future of your program <laughs> run around recklessly like that, but he's trying to make plays right now, so you can't blame him. Yeah. Now a third and 23. We lost three yards on that one. And another high snap. Oh, and, and he's going to just get wrapped up back yep. around the 20. What's going on with those snaps tonight? I don't know. Here comes the punter. Got Blake Hammond going to be punting for us. Well, and I just got an update here from the studio. Some halftime scores. Uh, Triton 12, Winamax 7. Yep. McConaughey 27, Rochester oh, 13. That, that's a live ball. Hey, cast and got And Comet's recovering that. I think that was, was that Smith getting it? Yeah, Smith and Gearhart is who we're saying. You know, we're seeing some great stuff out here tonight. Yeah. It's just, it's not just quite all coming yeah. together at the right yeah. time. And we've seen that a lot this season. Unfortunately, unfortunately. And here, we're gonna give it to Smith. He'll make a cut and get, I don't know, I think he's back to the line of scrimmage. Throw it. Oh, and, and intercepted. Yeah. 
pass was intercepted and the Redskins and take over the football at the 49 yard line. Oh, and there's number two, short. He had a nice stop right there, just short of the goal line. In the trap play to number 33. As we're having some technical difficulties. You ever realize you're looking at something backwards, Alex? Seems like I do that almost all the time I look at something. And the Redskins getting that two-point conversion in. Sorry, folks. I'm having some technical difficulties. We're, we're better now. Five thirty left here in the half. Redskins twenty-eight. Yeah. Comets zero. See who they kick it to this time. That's Brock Wolf again. Yeah. And he's gonna run to the outside. And we had some issues there with uh, Grant Hickel not not moving forward on that block. Brock Wolf just ran straight into mm -hmm. Hickel's back. Now we have Shane Lumb is the wing. Looks like Sam Duvall's gonna pull. 
and he will. And they hand it to Smith, and he'll get wrapped up behind the line of scrimmage. And not a whole lot of time to throw the football. Trips to the left. Not a whole lot of time to throw it. It was a screen. And Jesse fumbled it. That'll be recovered by Knox. As they'll take over at the 44-yard uh, line. like Tim Lee's uh, ear pad came off and he tried to hide it in his pants, but the ref <laughs> caught him. So I say, I heard the ref say something about a helmet. Yeah. Nice tackle there at the far end. Is that Schaefer? Yes. You know, I'm sure if any coach had their drathers, they would not have their uh, quarterback on the defensive yeah. line. Now let's put the guy who is key to our offense in a position <laughs> where we're just going to be slamming him. Ooh, He's going to throw that one deep. Oh, and it's and complete. got that one. McIntyre. They faked the bubble out here short. And he had plenty of time to reset and throw it deep. Quarterback number five, Zach Rose, is just a junior. Calling that one no good. I wasn't sure if he got the football over the over the goal line or not. Well, like you said earlier, the guys in stripes make the rules. Well, they didn't make them; they enforce them. <laughs> right. So it's. Well, I, saw, I saw him stretched out. I wasn't sure mm -hmm. if the. And how much of the football has to be across the line? Is that up to referees' interpretation? It's. No, as long as you can get just even the slightest little bit. <laughs> but when it's 34 to 0, I don't know if you're going to make a fuss over two points. Um, <laughs> well, there's. I think there's teams that would. Yeah. 
Well, I'm hoping on a night like tonight, Knox isn't a team that would. Reckon they'll send it to Rockwolf again? That or they'll uh, kick it to Smith, but try to make it bounce a couple times. Well, 350 left here in the half. So you don't want to kick it to Smith because he's got Shane Lobb right in front of him in the block. Right. This time Hickle picks it up. Making a couple moves. We got, got a flag. flag back here. And a hold on the comments. I think I heard here in the booth that was a hold on Rock Wolf. And unfortunately that's 10 yards from the spot of the foul, not the end of the play. Right. Uh, Taking possession on the 19-yard line when you've struggled to make yardage up is not the most ideal situation I can conceptualize. There's Schaefer rolling out. And, and he was just, he was kept from getting across the line there by uh, senior Logan Shaw, number 55. And he'll be tackled inbound, so the clocks are gonna keep running. Loss of three. Ball now down here on the 16 yard line. You know, I've said several times if you can just get three yards on each play. Um, but that needs to be a positive three yards. <laughs> Call a timeout. Did we get a timeout called or we have a delay of game? Hmm, delay game. <sighs> yeah, I, I don't, none of the refs threw a flag on that. Hey, well, you know, when the comments broke their huddle there. They looked legitimately flabbergasted. Yeah. I, I I, don't know if they, if nobody was looking at one of the play yeah. clocks. I, I'm gonna hand it to Smith on the sweep and he's got the outside. And shoved out of bounds here at about the 22. He got quite a few yards back on that one. So we're going to be here about third and six. Well, he must have got 12 to 15 yards on that run. Seven, six, five left on the clock. And they're pushing it as far as they can get it. Oh, oh. and nearly intercepted number 27 read that one right from the snap <laughs> Reese Keaton he's yep. a junior seems like he's got some season on him yeah well I think we've talked about this Landon as soon as he gets the snap he'll look right at the guy he's going to throw it to which is the indication to the defense Hey. Right. <laughs> so if he could, and I know Coach Slocum has talked to him in the past, as soon as you get the snap, look at this near safety that you're going to throw to that side. And they have to take a timeout as they. 
look to avoid another delay game. But you want to look at the near safety and then read his coverage, whether he blacks up or he tries to, you know, come up like we saw against Judson and pick off those slant passes. Depending on what he decides to do is where you go with the football. Right. It's one of those things comes with experience. Yep, yep. And Knox definitely has a bunch of that on the defense. Oh, absolutely. And, uh, you know, it's something, something else we've talked about before. We've got a lot of good athletes that come up into the high school program and legitimately should have a season where they're playing either JV ball mm -hmm. or they're playing a uh, freshman squad. Mm -hmm. Not because they're not good athletes, just to get them that experience. Right. But we're in a position here at Caston where they've got to go right onto a varsity line. Right. And, uh, and they're freshmen playing against seniors. And right. And so, yeah, they get a lot of good experience. Yeah. Uh, if they're fortunate, they don't get hurt. Yeah. And another punt here for the Comets tonight. Oh, no, a yeah. fake. And that should oh. be good for a first down. Hickle. Gavin Hickle causing those chains to move. Nice fake play by the Comets. Yeah. Second uh, fourth down conversion here yeah. tonight for yep. the Comets. Schaefer again just Running. nearly getting obliterated in that pocket. And he's going to go down behind the line of scrimmage. That, that was uh, number 50 that got through there, uh, Tristan Vitale. And uh, you know, he's a junior. Another upperclassman here. Right. <clears throat> You know, but every uh, every game, I'm seeing fewer and fewer helmets on the yeah. sideline. To, yep. You know, so which means that we are relying more on and more on younger and younger yep. players. Oh, uh, another Duvall. No. No, Duvall. Jumped. Neutral zone infraction. So I'm trying to keep one eye on the play clock because <laughs> it was down to one. I'd say Duvall jumped a full second early on that. Just over a minute left here in the half. And remind me again, that rule is 35 points? A point away. So you know, you know Knox is... is yeah, Wanting to get possession of that football yeah. and make a play happen real quick. So I wouldn't be surprised if they took a timeout, depending on what happens this play. <laughs> and they're going to toss it to Smith. Smith looking for an opening. And gets wrapped up. The clock will keep running. Number 37 looked like he was injured. Well, it looks like Knox is content with just letting the clock run and going into halftime. 38 seconds left in the half. Just over 10 seconds on the play clock. Play timer. Looks like Duvall's going to pull. Nope. They'll hand it off to Smith. Smith getting wrapped up right there at the 35. And that'll... Uh, I wonder if Coach Slocum's going to take a timeout here in the last two seconds. Yeah. 
And it looks like we're just nope. going to let that run out and head into halftime. Well, halftime score here at the Comet Crater. Knox Redskins, 34. Casting Comet, zero. Uh, we will, uh, we're going to uh, say thank you to our sponsors by, uh, you know, letting you hear what promotions and whatnot they have going on. And we will be back here in about 15 minutes to start second half coverage. Stay tuned to uh, Comets Football here on Caston TV on RTC TV4. At First Federal Savings Bank, we enjoy helping first-time homebuyers. And with our premier first-time homebuyer program, there's no private mortgage insurance cost. Only as little as 5% down is required for this program. Talk with one of our experienced mortgage lenders and let us help you purchase your first home. And remember, we don't want to be the biggest bank, just the best bank. First Federal Savings Bank has provided mortgage loans for over 50 years, and now we're offering commercial lending. Are you looking to purchase commercial real estate, equipment, or open a business line of credit? First Federal Savings Bank is your locally owned community bank for all your business banking needs. Contact Lindy Breeden, our business lending expert, to take the worry out of your business banking. And remember, we don't want to be the biggest bank, just the best bank. beyond your dealership expectation, help you in making fun decisions on your new vehicle, or let it try our professional touch by our service and parts department. We are the only Indiana new and used car dealership that has won the President Award 17 times. With over 100 years of sales experience, we're here to hold your hand from start to finish with no pressure or gimmicks. Contact us today. At Co-Alliance Propane, we treat our customers like neighbors because, well, that's what we are. When you trust Co-Alliance Propane as your seriously local propane provider, you're trusting a team of professionals who live, work, and watch the game from right across the county, not the country. A team that's close by and seriously dedicated to your safety and providing the best service possible. Find out more about Co-Alliance Propane's seriously local service and how you can get 50 gallons of propane free at CoAlliancePropane.com. At Co-Alliance, we understand the importance of community. After all, we've been farmer-owned since the 1920s. And now that we're a part of your community, we want to become your total agronomy solutions provider. Co-Alliance offers the latest in ag technology for your operation. From field scouting and fertilizers to premium seed and precision agriculture, we can help take your operation to the next level. Put the resources of your local cooperative to work. Contact Co-Alliance today. Save money when you switch your home phone service to VoIP from RTC. Everyone knows that RTC Fiber Communication is the area's leading provider of high-speed fiber optic internet service. Now, RTC can help save you money on your monthly phone bill by switching your phone over to the internet with VoIP. Same great service at a fraction of the cost. Contact RTC today to find out more about this money-saving offer online at www.rtc1.com. Enjoy full-screen television viewing of the new RTC TV4 family of networks anywhere you are with our new Roku channel. Simply purchase a Roku device from RTC or any Roku retailer, connect to your in-home Wi-Fi, then download the RTC TV4 channel. It's that easy. Watch all of our live channels 24-7 for free or subscribe to view all of our videos at your convenience. The RTC TV4 channel on Roku, another great service from RTC. At First Federal Savings Bank, we offer a wide variety of services for our customers. We offer a variety of deposit products, such as personal and business accounts. We pride ourselves in being one of the top mortgage lenders in Indiana. We offer commercial lending and business checking to help with your business banking needs. Through LPL Financial, our financial services department is here to help you with your financial planning needs. Come see us today and see how our family can help your family. I don't think of this as a high school weight room. It's more like a high school classroom. I'm learning how to manage my time here. 
I'm learning that it's important to have goals and that it takes persistence and commitment to reach them. And I'm learning that the best way to lead is by example. Indiana High School Sports. They're more than just a game. Come and see me play. <laughs> Want to know what I like best about playing basketball for my high school? I like it because it's a place where my friends get to see me play. I like it because I'm playing for someone besides myself. I'm playing for everybody in my school and every person in my community. Indiana High School Sports. They're more than just a game. Come and see me play. All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. We have a couple of minutes here as the teams are out of the locker room and stretching. Well, the Comets are warming up and stretching. The the Redskins uh, seem to be content with where they are. <laughs> <laughs> Which, where they are, if you'll mm -hmm. look at the scoreboard, is up by 34 points here as we go into the second half. Uh, just one point away from triggering the running clock rule. Yep. Now, uh, you and I talked on the pregame that John Harrell predict predicted the under over was, what, 46-6 or something like that? Uh, that sounds right. Seems like we're on pace. Yeah, that. yeah. I've, I don't know what magic they use, but they are so close yeah. so frequently. I mean, I've, I've seen some major, major upsets compared to their, mm -hmm. to their predictions. Um, but by and large, they are usually spot on. Yeah, within the, yeah, within, within a, just a couple scores. Yeah. I mean, and, and that's the thing with football, when a score is going to put six points on the board, it, it's they can be off by 12 points, and it's, it's two touchdowns. Yeah, it's two you plays. Know. You're off right. by two plays. Um, where in basketball, they're usually within a handful of points. Mm -hmm. and now I believe Knox is going to receive, and since it's not a running clock, do you keep your varsity in until it becomes one, or – how are you going to play that? Based on the numbers, I see Huddle up over there. I see 33. He was their fullback. I'm guessing they're going to. Look at the, look across the field there, the size disparity <laughs> between their varsity line and the JV line. Mm -hmm. That's ridiculous. Yep. What do they feed the varsity players? JV players yeah. who don't make the cut? Yeah. I mean. Now, I remember a couple years ago, Knox had almost like 25 seniors on the team. Imagine that. Two full lines of seniors. More than two full lines yeah. of seniors. So this is the uh, first kickoff return we'll see out of Knox tonight. Yeah. Nine, Tim Lee kicking off for the comments. Not a flutter from o Old Glory over there on the flagpole. Yep. It's getting colder, though. It's uh, number 20 there. Gabe Lovins. Brings it back up nearly to the 45. Smith and Schaefer with the stop. I once again, both sides of the football, those are a couple of athletic guys. Yeah, they're the uh, playmakers for sure, and they'll be that way for the next couple of years. Yeah. Of course, the junior high comments are going to go pay a visit to Knox tomorrow. This is number seven. That was Gearhart Nice Hart stop by Gearhart. That was a... Uh, Sophomore Harrison Howard with that carry. Of course, more than enough to move the chain gang. And, you know, as awesome as it is for any player to get, you know, 60, 80 yards and run it into the end zone, all you got to do is move those chains. Right. I'm going to run that sweet play. 
33 yeah, getting wrapped yeah. up. It was uh, junior Peyton Ball. Short about a yard of a first mm -hmm. down there. You know, we've seen Pioneer and we've seen, now we're seeing Knox. I'm curious as to how they, uh, Pioneer ended up winning that game because Knox looks much more physical than what I anticipated. I remember Knox being a rough game yeah. last season. And there's a cross block play. There's first down. He's still, he's still up. Finally taken down there on the other side of the 15. Uh, Gavin Hickel with the stop there. Number 33, Peyton Ball again. And they're going with the uh, hurry up. And there's a cross block play the other way. And, and he's got it. There's the touchdown. Peyton Ball there with basically all of the yardage into the end zone here and uh that will now put us into running clock territory mm -hmm. with the exception of injuries timeouts and scores yep. <clears throat> now i call it the cross block play because the play set guard pulls and kicks out the end Man, and that extra point was good. The play side tackle tight end and wing all blocked down, so it looks like you're forming an X. Okay. And then he fits in, the running back will fit in right in between the down block and the kick out block. It's an old wing T play that's been around before we. Right. Since the beginning of the wing T? Yeah, yep. You know, some of this stuff that we see now, and it's so common. Uh, you got to wonder, though, when, when the coaches who came up with some of these some of these offenses that now, you know, are generational at this point, yeah. what did those defenses think the first time they <laughs> saw that stuff? I mean, you, you know, for to survive as it is, it had yeah. to have been revolutionary yeah. in its day. And yeah. obviously some teams still do it better than others. Yep. Yeah, you probably would have heard some head coach yelling timeout at the top of his lungs after something <laughs> like that. Head about to explode. What did you guys just let go past you? Yeah. Oh, what Smith picked that one up? Oh, and a We're penalty. Another hold on the comments? I'm guessing. That reminds me of a story that I heard from Tubby Raymond. He used to coach at University of Delaware, which is one of the um, first schools that ran the wing tee and made it popular. Uh, he was an assistant, and his they ran two tight ends, kind of like what Kasson did last year. Right. And then he came to the head coach. He's like, why don't we take this tight end and put him out at wide receiver? And he, the coach is like, why would we do that? It's like because they would take a defender and take him out. And he's like, would they really go guard that guy, even though <laughs> we're not going to throw it to him? He's like, I bet they would. Just moving a guy was revolutionary back in those days. Right. Oh, and another fumbled snap. Well, I think Smith got his hand on that. Uh, almost like he, he reached too far forward on the fake, maybe. I'm going to guess so that, that snap wasn't quite right for him to have right. been able to interfere with it in the first place. Well, I don't know. Old Glory is floating a little bit. Breeze might have picked up. Well, let's see the comments back. Sort of. Southeast wind. Now, I've noticed when Jesse Rockwolf lines up, far they don't even look to throw so i think he's lining up wide to scoot the uh corner and the safety out but when he lines up closer to the tackle they look to pass smith getting tied up behind the line of scrimmage there 
And Comets now very quickly to third and 13 or so. How many times do you reckon that uh, Coach Slocum told them to keep their eye on the play timer in the locker room? <laughs> Another screen pass. And this time the linebackers for Knox figured that out. Comets now fourth and nine. Number 16 is running out of the field. I don't think that the fake punt's going to work again. Oh, well, maybe it would. I mean, you yeah. can you can only defend so many things at once. Oh, and a pretty good punt. Back to the 50. Number two. Short called a fair catch on there. And the Redskins are going to take it at the Comets 49 yard line. Six and a half minutes left in the third. See, so we have number 10 parking out the plays. So I'm guessing the JV is in. Yeah, they're smaller than the Comets. This is not the same offensive line we've been seeing. And they hand it off there to number seven, Harrison Howard, sophomore. And he was stopped right at the line of scrimmage. So this goes again back to with the introduction of the running clock rule, mm -hmm. the ISHAA has also allowed for uh, six quarters of play. Yep. Per week. Per week now. So the JV can be in longer. And so Knox's coaching staff is obviously option to give them some live practice. Yep. Now then, are they going to put in the JV defense? <laughs> I don't see why not. No, we've seen it go both ways yeah. this season, though. Yep. Um, see, it was Col Culver, I think. Yep. They, they put in their JV offense but kept their varsity defense on the field. Um, I think Triton did the same. Ooh, deep throw Ooh. and just a little long. Mm -hmm. Intended there for number 83, uh, Chandler Works. Why do I know that name? That name stuck out to me from last season. It's something. Maybe it was basketball. Okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm getting a nod here in the... I just... I, you know, when, when you say a name a lot in a game, you it sticks with you. And that was a punt. Rolling to the Comets. 24, 23, 24-yard line. Just over four minutes left here. I don't know. Defensive guys that, are coming out there. That looks like uh, the jerseys are still clean. So, <laughs> well, well, I'm not. I'm not trying to say anything bad about anybody, but these guys are smaller or the same size as our guys. Mm -hmm. Where that Knox varsity line, they're just huge, Alex. Yeah. yeah so let's see what uh. The comments can do here against similar competition. I, I just seeing what Schaefer and, and Smith have been able to do against that varsity defense. I'm not There's sure that this Smith on the sweep. And, yep, and, and he's going to break free. He's going to go all the way. Oh. That was an amazing yeah. run, though. He yeah. absolutely – so the uh, number nine there was Audio Rodriguez. 
and uh, it's uh, Junior, and Sam just right, outran him. Smith with the first points on the board for the Comets here tonight. Of course, we're still at a 35-point separation yeah. here, so. Well, I think we found out that uh, it's not a dynamic rule. Oh, that's right, that's right. Once it's, and they'll get the two-point conversion, it looks like. And there's two more. Two See, who is that against? We found that out. Is that Culver? Might have been. I don't remember. I looked up slept since then. <laughs> and not nearly enough, it sometimes seems like. So what, are, what do you do if you're Knox? With this kind of a point spread, yeah. I would go ahead and let my JV practice. Yeah. Uh, if it starts looking sideways, you throw the varsity back in. Mm -hmm. Um, because there there have been flashes of of inspiration mm -hmm. against the the Knox varsity. Yep. Uh, but it's not been consistent enough. Right. Well, you know that was something. I don't remember if we said it on air or off air. It, it doesn't matter. You know, and, and you you said something just a minute ago about similar mm -hmm. a similar matchup. And yeah. I've got to say, you know, it, it we've got a lot of underclassmen. We've talked about that. Yep. Um, ordinarily, they would have played a JV schedule. We've talked about yep. that. The experience they've got, though, it's not fair to them to say that it's that they are now JV caliber. Right. Um, it's just that with a school like Knox, you Weird. see where they're not quite at the same skill set. Hunter Shanlob there taking down uh, we have number a twenty. They have a flag, Gabe Lovins, and yeah, flag way back on the thirty-two. Holding, holding against yeah, Knox. I'm gonna bring him back quite a ways. So uh, it looks like that flag was back there at the thirty-two, and then that's where the penalty starts. So. Yep. Back right that. Yep. Back him up quite a bit. Well, I think you're right. I mean, you just leave the JV out there. I mean, clock's running right now, so. Right. We've, we've got 90 seconds left here in the third. That running clock just changes the face of the game. Yeah. It really does. Yeah. Um, and I think it really is a great rule the IHSA <laughs> put that in there. Yeah, I, I could see some places to tweak it, but this is mm -hmm. the first year for it. And There's a sweet play. Penalty flag, is that going to be on the Comets? Face mask maybe, I didn't quite see that. Personal foul, yep. Home crowd not happy about that call. I believe that'll be a 15-yard penalty and not the five-yarder. <laughs> Under 30 seconds left in the quarter. It should be an automatic first down yeah. with the chain gang moving, but. I thought it was a first down and chain stay where they were unless. Oh, and that fumble will back things up as we close out the third quarter. Well, fourth quarter action coming up here in just a few moments. You're watching Comets Football and Casting TV on RTC TV4. Simplify your banking with a simply free checking account from First Federal Savings Bank. All it takes is $50 to open the account with no minimum balance and no monthly service fees. For a limited time, you will also receive a free gift just for opening the account. 
And with Instant Issue, we can give you a debit card right when you open your account, giving you immediate access to your funds. Simply free checking from First Federal Savings Bank, a simpler way to bank. And remember, we don't want to be the biggest bank, just the best bank. All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Getting ready to start the fourth quarter here at the Common Crater. Redskins at uh, second and well, they were they were at two, so uh, mm -hmm. looks like second and six, six. Yes, I can count. Counting is a thing I can do today. I wonder what you do to inspire your JV to play a little bit better. I mean, they've had a couple penalties, uh, fumble. They've gotten tackled in the backfield a couple times. Well, w once again, we were talking just before the uh, quarter break. They're going against I, – because I, we, we've got enough upperclassmen and enough football IQ out here on the Comets line. Yeah. They, they, they're not playing exactly a JV squad. Right. There's a cross block play. Nice stop there by Schaefer, slowing him down. Uh, give his teammates time to come over and help. I think that was Howard. Uh, that said, the they're going to move that chain gang. You see here they started the JV off in shotgun. Now they moved him to the under center offense, something it's a little bit more manageable. Rules are probably a little bit simpler. You know, with the way the snaps have been going this evening for the Comets, I'm almost surprised that we didn't switch to an under center. Yeah. Um, but it could be that we've not really practiced that. Yeah, yeah we haven't seen him run under center yet, have we? No, and that's uh, that's all we ran for the last couple of years, yeah. I believe. Get a second and nine. Knox in the wing tee. They're just going to keep running cross block. That was uh, number seven, Howard, right up the middle. Five, Sam, Smith on the stop. Sam Smith with that stop. Now at third and five. Now this is where you see the wing T have fits. You know, what do you do when the first down is more than three yards away? I wonder if they'll run a sweet play or a rollout play. Well, they're lining up in shotgun. Oh, and an excellent And the pass, pass completed. That was Trent Messer, number 10, the uh, backup quarterback here, threw a strike. That was over to number, is that number one on the receive? Number. Number one or number three, there's two Wagners. Either way, upperclassmen. You're going to stick with the shotgun. You're going to run the quarterback. This is Hickle. Yeah, Garrison wasn't having that. Well, and you know, I've noticed a yeah, smart football here by the Redskins. Every play, that, that play timer is in single digits before yep. the before yep. he's calling for the snap. Um, just burn off. As much time as he can. Absolutely. I mean, you're going to get your JV line some good experience on the field. Mm -hmm. And at the same time, you're not going to give this. this. Here's a counter play. More experienced comments line yep. time with the football. This is number 41, Emily Richardson on the run. Uh, Richardson's the one who had that tackle on Smith yep. earlier. Really solid tackle. A 
And a third and eight. Under eight minutes left in the game here. And there's that power play. Stopped at the 40, though. Well, I suspect you go for it here. Let's see what the, the JV can do. I don't see any. Uh, I don't see any kind of line change happening here. So, evidently, the Knox coaching staff agrees with you. Wonder if they're just gonna run that cross block play again. Oh, got him to jump. Well, that'll be a first down. And that was Shane Lobb who did that. They, they uh good job by the JV quarterback to get the hard count. <laughs> and fake out this <laughs> this one of the seniors. Yeah. Ooh, it's close. <laughs> Comets are gonna have to stop him. At or behind the line, though. Mm -hmm. My question is, you think that hard count was the strategy? I'd like to think so. And they're going to sneak it in there. They're still going. <laughs> More than enough for a first down on that. It's a pretty long drive here that the Knox. Yeah, they're, and they've they've turned or yeah, they've converted just a, co a couple of mm -hmm. bad situations. So they're really proving themselves well. Yeah, against this Commons defense. And there's the rocket toss. Smith missing that tackle. It's number 23, Connor Alexander. Around the outside on the sweet play. Five and a quarter minutes left in the game here. And Kasten recovers the fumble. 72, Sam Duvall. Sam Duvall in that recovery. You know, and that's uh, that's something that, that the coaches are just going to have to work with mm -hmm. on that JV squad. Yeah. It's not the first fumble that we've seen here. Right. As a matter of fact, you, you called that out a little while ago when you were questioning you know, how do you get their confidence back? Yeah. Well, they had a drive that was really good for it, yep. and unfortunately, it ended in a loose ball. I mean, you're driving the football on a Friday night. <laughs> That's pretty good. You've converted a couple of situations yep. that look like turnovers. That's pretty good. They're going to run the sweep with Smith again. He scored the last time he did this. Well, yeah, knocked out of bounds job. this time. He's going to move the chain gang, though. Under four minutes left to play. We're under four minutes left in the game. Comments have to be looking for just a, a kind of a moral victory of a second mm -hmm. touchdown on the board. Oh, and they bobble that one. Schaefer is going to break in and tackle and then gets tied up by half the line. That was less than optimal. Yep. Now, we've seen him take the snap, and it's been to his left quite a bit here tonight.
you know, with the score and the time and the running clock, you'd think that uh, the Comets would be spending as little time as possible in a huddle. Yeah. Well, I don't know if they have a no huddle. I think number 61 jumped first on that, but... Nope, we're going to move the wrong way up up the field. Of course, that doesn't stop the clock. Correct. Just over two minutes here. Comets are going to have to hustle if they want to put another one in the end zone. Of course, let's face it, we've seen it. It only takes about eight seconds. Mm-hmm. Another screen pass. That one went to Smith. Smith looking to make some moves. And Got quite a bit of tough yards there. Yeah, but he's just barely past the original line of scrimmage for this set of downs. It's about third and seven here. Mm-hmm. Wonder if you try that sweet play with Smith again. They're going to run it with Hickle. Hickle up to about the. F oh, that was a first down. I thought they were a little short of it. About the 37, is that right, 36? Under a minute left, Comets are gonna have to be a little quicker back to yeah. the line of scrimmage. And if you throw it deep. And he's That's what they're for doing. Shane Lobb. And whew, nearly intercepted there by number 43. Cody. Waringa. Yeah, I'll leave the uh, the names to you. <laughs> you can butcher a name just as well <laughs> as I can. I just lean into it. I mean, <laughs> yeah, here and this will probably we're be gonna the, get one more play. I yeah. think. Imagine just a deep. No, you're gonna toss it to Hickle. Hickel looking for a hole, and he's down at the 45, yep. right at the right at the buzzer. That'll do it. Final score here tonight at the Crater. Redskins 41, Comets 8. Uh, I'm sure that Coach Slocum's going to make his way up here to talk to us, so uh, we'll run a few words from our sponsors. Stay tuned. And yeah, we'll be back with the post-game show here on Casting TV on RTC TV4. Hi, I'm John Oliver with some great news if you're shopping for a pre-owned F-150 or Ford Escape. Two of America's best-selling vehicles, and right now we have an incredible lineup to choose from. These are all local trades, so the history is no mystery. No Canadian units here. F-150s and Escapes, all priced to sell, all Oliver Ford Lincoln certified. So get more for your money and more for your trade with Oliver Ford Lincoln in Plymouth. Simplify your banking with a Simply Free Checking account from First Federal Savings Bank. At First Federal Savings Bank, we appreciate your referrals. Refer your friends to open a Simply Free Checking account. When your friend opens a checking account, you can both receive a free gift. It's easy as one, two, three. Simply Free Checking from First Federal Savings Bank, a simpler way to bank. And remember, we don't want to be the biggest bank, just the best bank. At Co-Alliance Propane, we treat our customers like neighbors because, well, that's what we are. When you trust Co-Alliance Propane as your seriously local propane provider, you're trusting a team of professionals who live, work, and watch the game from right across the county, not the country. A team that's close by and seriously dedicated to your safety and providing the best service possible. Find out more about Co-Alliance Propane's seriously local service and how you can get 50 gallons of propane free at CoAlliancePropane.com.
Simplify your banking with a Simply Free checking account from First Federal Savings Bank. All it takes is $50 to open the account with no minimum balance and no monthly service fees. For a limited time, you will also receive a free gift just for opening the account. And with Instant Issue, we can give you a debit card right when you open your account, giving you immediate access to your funds. Simply Free Checking from First Federal Savings Bank, a simpler way to bank. And remember, we don't want to be the biggest bank, just the best bank. At Co-Alliance, we understand the importance of community. After all, we've been farmer-owned since the 1920s. And now that we're a part of your community, we want to become your total agronomy solutions provider. Co-Alliance offers the latest in ag technology for your operation. From field scouting and fertilizers to premium seed and precision agriculture, we can help take your operation to the next level. Put the resources of your local cooperative to work. Contact Co-Alliance today. At First Federal Savings Bank, we enjoy helping first-time home buyers. And with our premier first-time home buyer program, there's no private mortgage insurance cost. Only as little as 5% down is required for this program. Talk with one of our experienced mortgage lenders and let us help you purchase your first home. And remember, we don't want to be the biggest bank, just the best bank. At Oliver Ford, we reach beyond your dealership expectation, help you in making fun decisions on your new vehicle, or let it try our professional touch by our service and parts department. We are the only Indiana new and used car dealership that has won the President Award 17 times. With over 100 years of sales experience, we're here to hold your hand from start to finish with no pressure or gimmicks. Contact us today. And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, joined here in the booth by uh, head coach Tony Slocum. Uh, coach, uh, you know, Knox is a big school. Knox has big players. Walk me through the coach's perspective on this. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're the biggest school in our conference, but they still only put 11 people on the field. Right. Uh, our problem was a consistent execution. Uh, we just didn't. Uh, put enough uh, plays together in a row, and it cost us. Knox is a good football team. Yeah, that was something Alex and I had mentioned on air is that we, we saw some really good highlights from the comments here tonight. Just unfortunately, they weren't able to put them together into consecutive plays on one drive. Yeah, I mean, we, we would uh, take two steps forward, which which is our – theme this year and then we take two steps back and uh against a team like Knox you just can't do that just as we talk about with the kids consistent effort and consistent execution and we j we didn't have the consistent execution uh I believe the effort was there the, the kids uh, uh played hard I mean we came into the game with 15 players uh dressed and uh that's always a tough thing down two starters uh from last week and the week before mm -hmm. Uh, but there's no excuses. I mean, it, it comes down to tackling, catching passes. I mean, we had uh, first play of the game. Uh, we wanted to go deep, and we did. And we had a receiver, and he just didn't catch the ball. Right. Uh, you you start the game out a little bit better. Maybe things uh, start rolling in your favor. Uh, but they didn't. But uh, we competed that. And I, I wanted to see that, and I'm glad uh, I saw Sam Smith finally got out in space. He was really good on special teams, as always. And, uh, again, that, that's a good football team. I, I thought they would win the conference. Uh, Pioneer's still the best, uh, but they gave them a heck of a game. And uh, we'll move forward and go into sectional play next week. All right. Well, sir, uh, you'll be heading to Adam Central next week? Uh, is it Adam Central? Uh, I'm, <laughs> so. I'm a week-to-week -week guy. I know, <laughs> I know it's a long way from here. Oh, I'd uh, and, and what I've been told is they're a very good football team. We scrimmaged them a couple years ago, mm -hmm. and I, they brought 50 kids to a summertime scrimmage. So uh, I believe they have a, a program that's rolling. They, they went to uh, pretty far in the tournament last year against Pioneer. So we got 
got our work cut out for us, but uh, we look forward to the challenge and uh, hopefully have a good week of practice. We'll go over there and uh, – uh, make the Comet fans proud. All right. Well, sounds good, sir. Once again, we thank you for your and the coaching staff's effort. We love watching the guys down here on the gridiron. Uh, good luck next week, and uh, have a great weekend, Coach. As always, thanks for covering the Comets. Absolutely. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that will wrap up tonight's coverage here at the Comet Crater. Uh, once again, stay tuned to uh, – rtc4.com keep your eyes open for all of your local teams coverages whether you're a comets fan or a zebras fan and uh we've got some actual we've got some uh post game stats here yeah. um so casting ended up with 280 rushing yards or sorry that was knox <laughs> i was like wait no no <laughs> uh, like passing yards is almost equal 71 to 63 Total yards of offense, Knox had 351. Yeah, we, we've got some places here where really we just kind of neck and neck and then just things like, uh, you know, though when you have 280 rushing yards versus 79 rushing yeah. yards, um, you know, 15 first downs versus six first mm -hmm. downs. Yeah, you know, those things just, they add up, like Coach was saying, and it goes down to consistent execution. Right. Which sounds a lot like something we said. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's correct. So, well, ladies and gentlemen, we thank you so much for joining us here tonight. Once again, um, we'll have Alex covering uh, Rochester sectional volleyball tomorrow. Yep. Um, so just, as always, stay tuned. Keep your eyes peeled, whether you're watching on the app or watching online or whether you're watching, uh, you're fortunate enough to have Rochester or RTC cable. Mm -hmm. Um Keep your eyes peeled so that you can watch all of your local team sports. Until next time, I'm Blair Zimmerman. I've been joined here by Alex Korn, yep. and we had Autumn Garling up on the camera for us tonight. Thank you so much, and uh, join us next time. This is RTC4.